everyone it's justin thank you for watching it's time for my first build with aes challenge video that's build with application engine studio you can see it right there let's go ahead and get started i want to keep this short i'm going to show you first my favorite feature that is really helpful after you delete your pdi so i'm going to import an app that i've been working on and i'm going to bring it in from source control so let me copy and paste my uh, repository information in here. We'll get rid of the branch because as you, if you see my previous videos, I used the master branch to start with and I'll put it in my email address and again, then my credential. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit import app and it is going to error out, it's gonna fail. I'm showing you this on purpose because it might happen to you, it probably will happen to you if you do like me and you import things and then delete them. Um, so what you need to do, I want you to go back to the classic UI Go to your all menu and type in sys underscore repo underscore config dot list. That's sys repo config dot list. This is where the repository configurations are stored and related to your applications that you're developing. So notice my repos there, but the application itself is blank. So what I need to do is just check the box next to this and delete it so that I can import my application. We will confirm it there, delete it, go back over to App Engine Studio, and let me move my head so you can see these buttons down here. I'm gonna click back and then I'm gonna re-click this import app button so that we can get that application imported. And now it's gonna work. So what am I up to? I'm building an app and I'm probably gonna make a couple of videos about the journey for building that app within App Engine Studio. And it's basically gonna be around Tokyo. So you've probably seen a previous video about some XML parsing. I'm trying to stay organized around the Tokyo features. So that's my application, ServiceNow Tokyo Features. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think is interested in hashtag build with AES or App Engine Studio. Until next time, don't forget, always be learning.